fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now host in Proud Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your DualShock 3 game controller, connect it to your PC using USB cable or Bluetooth, no motion joy, no better DS3 tool, it's awesome, and I'll talk a little bit later in this tutorial why this is the better solution using the Scarlet Crush Productions SCP DS3 driver tool set. So let's do this. If you go to the more info section, there's a link to this really great forum thread at the PCSX2.net. Basically what you want to do is download the latest version which is 120160 and also get the update which is 122175. In the more info section I'll have a link to my own zip file that has everything already uh, downloaded and updated for you. Also in addition you need these 1 through 7 item requirements. Basically the .NET framework 4.0, Visual C 2013 runtime, DirectX runtime, latest 360 controller drivers, of course you need a DS3 game controller or DS4, and then you also need a minimum of Bluetooth 2.0 EDR dongle if you want to do Bluetooth of course and also admin rights on your PC. One important note is right here about Windows 7 is you want to install the 360 drivers before you install the SCP drivers. And if you're using Windows XP or Vista, you want to install those X360 drivers, Xbox 360 controller drivers, after you install the SCP drivers. Windows 8, 8.1, not required. So let's do this. How does this work? So what we're going to do is navigate to my C drive and go into your program files, x86. And we're going to make a new folder. So I'm just going to right click in this empty space here, new folder. Call it Scarlet spit dot crush space productions. You don't have to call this, but a lot of tutorials do this and just try to be consistent what you may find on the internet, which is fine. Also, you have downloaded the, the drivers here. So take your 120-160 driver package, extract that SCP server into the scarlet.crush productions folder. So do that. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to download and extract that update, do the same thing, and we're going to update those files right now. Okay, we're updating and we're good to go. And that's like half the battle. That's like the hardest part, just getting the drivers. Now let's just install the damn things. So let's go into the bin folder. And then what we're gonna do is right click the SCP driver, right click, run as administrator. And then for the majority of users, what you wanna do is just go to configure service, Bluetooth driver, have both of these checked, click on install. For, for me, for my particular Bluetooth dongle, I'm gonna check force install and install and I'll tell you why I am doing this. So you go back to the forum here and you click on this image here. This will show you what the results will be at the end once everything is installed, succeeded. And you'll have this thing here and if you're trying to do the Bluetooth method, you're gonna have something called a Bluetooth driver that shows under the install summary. For my particular Bluetooth dongle, since I have an older dongle apparently, when I did the Bluetooth driver, configure servers and uncheck force install, the summary installation message did not show Bluetooth driver. So if you are one of those guys where you went through this process and your Bluetooth driver is not shown in the summary, installation summary, then what you want to do is click on force install and then you click on install and then you cross your fingers and then you should see that installation summary with the Bluetooth driver and then you're ready to have a lot of good time. So it took me a while to figure that out, but I just know from experience that for my particular Bluetooth dongle, I have an older model, this AZIO old school Bluetooth dongle and that's what I had to do for me. For your dongle, you may not need to do that. And I know I ranted a lot about Bluetooth dongles, but um, there's a lot of gamers out there. They love their PlayStation 3 game controllers. They want to use Bluetooth, whether that's a laptop Bluetooth hardware or PC Bluetooth, whatever you got going. And, uh, you know, wireless is definitely the way to go. So, so um, highly recommend it. You may use a USB cable today, but if you ever get a chance to get a Bluetooth, by all means, go for it, it's awesome. Okay, so we're waiting for this thing to install. It takes a while, two minutes or so. Uh, we'll see how this goes. And we're just about done here. Come on, come on, come on. Almost done. And once you have everything installed here, your PlayStation 3 game controller, DS3 game controller, will be recognized as an Xbox 360 game controller. So that means that you can run it inside any Windows PC, game that recognizes or uses Xbox 360 mm -hmm. controllers. And this SCP mm -hmm. driver package is nice because it runs as a service. You don't have to run a program every time you 
you know, turn on Windows, for example, it just runs in the background. So here's my install summary. We got everything installed, all five items installed. We're good to go. That's awesome. Now let's hope that's this works out properly for me. So if I go to the game controller section under device manager, we'll see that my game controller is now recognized as an Xbox 360 for Windows. So take a look in the camera, guys. Look at this. All my buttons are working. That's awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my USB cable and it's going to be momentarily, it'll be looked as a Bluetooth. See that just one single LED. Now let's go back to my game controllers and go to properties and look at that guys. Let me move my mouse. Look at that. Everything is working and we're ready to have a lot of, can you guess it? Good times. Now, if you click on SCP monitor, and hopefully this works. I had some issues with it with my Camtasia Studio, but here it is. Great. We see it as connected through Bluetooth, which is awesome. Now, if I connect my USB cable, for those of you guys who don't have Bluetooth and you just want to use USB, USB cables, excuse me, just plug in your USB cable and the computer will say USB charging or whatever, and you're good to go. And then if you want to disconnect your USB cable, the program will just know, hey, your controller is this particular MAC address and that's your Bluetooth dongle. So if you have a, a second, a third, a fourth controller, connect each one of those guys to your USB cable and the SCP monitor or the program will say, okay, pad two, pad three, pad four is these specific game controllers and you're good to go and have a lot of good times playing Towerfall, Ascension or Speedrunners or Castle Crashers or whatever you want to get your groove on, you know? So that is pretty much it. It's a really nice solution. Like I said, no motion enjoy, no better DS3 tool. This runs as a service in the background. So when you restart Windows, when you turn on your computer, it's gonna be running in the background, plug in your USB cable and you're ready to play. Or um, here's a neat trick, take a look in the camera guys. So just press your PlayStation button and then you will be linked as a Bluetooth. Now, how do you disconnect your game controller from Bluetooth? Hold your L1, R1 and press the PS button in the middle and the light will turn off. There you go. See that in the camera, guys? The light is off, the LED is off, and you take a look at SCP monitor and nothing is going on, and you're ready to have a good time, a lot of good times, and your battery is now saved. So that is today's video game tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care, bye.